Hi everyone, I'm going to teach you how to find your own, the, the ants that live in your backyard. I have this one right here, a, which is a carpenter ant, soldier. Okay, I found this ant on the ground. Sometimes, I, sometimes you can find carpenter ants in trees, because that's really where, they're, where they nest. You need te a couple test tubes and some tweezers and maybe even a shovel to just dig them out. How did you find that carpenter ant? I found it. On, I found it on the. I found it on the ground. It was climbing up the bench. How did you get it into that test tube? I had. I had to grab it with my hands and just. I throw it in. Do carpenter ants sting? No, they only they they the carpenter ants actually spray a formic acid. Oh, I found something! I found something over here. It's a it's a stag beetle larva. Right here. How many can you put in a test tube? Well, it depends on the size of the ants. Because if you collect big ants, you, 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 can, you can only fit a little bit in a test tube. But if you collect small ants, you can fit a lot more in one test tube. Oh, I found a little millipede here too. They curl, they curl up when they're threatened. Like like a like a pill bug, they basically roll into a ball when feet when threatened. Nope, there's only a few under here. Let's check. All right, let's put this guy back so he can develop into a nice stag beetle. Oh, I found a few. Here's another part of their nest. The nest in here extends pretty far for a small ant like this. There's not really too many in this one. Let me check this one. So what will we do with them after the test tube? We're going to put them in a terrarium. In our next video, we're, I'm going to show you how to put your ants in a terrarium and make your own terrarium, too. Alright, enjoy the insects among, among us. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button.